What's up everyone, how's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Mavic 2 Pro. Now I've been testing it for a couple of days and specifically I want to do a comparison against what I used to consider the best drone on the planet a couple of months ago, which was the Mavic Air. Now DJI has this habit of releasing drones and then immediately after the previous generation drone becomes pretty much obsolete. If you take a look at the Phantom lineup and compare it to the new Mavic uh, lineup of drones, you'll see that there's not much of an advantage that those Phantoms have anymore compared to the uh, Mavics. But uh, specifically in this video, we're going to talk about the advantages that uh, the Mavic 2 Pro has over the Air, but also talk about some of the interesting advantages that the Air still has, even against its new shiny older brother. Now, the big advantage that the Mavic 2 has against uh, the Zoom as well as the Air is the brand new camera that they've uh, developed in conjunction with Hasselblad. And if you don't know Hasselblad, it's pretty much the Rolls Royce of camera manufacturers. They have platinum standards. They sell usually medium format cameras that cost in excess of hundreds of thousands of dollars, believe it or not. It's pretty much the best stills camera money can buy. And now we have that same kind of technology and development into a relatively affordable flying camera platform. Specifically, if you take a look at the raw sensor size, it's about one inch, which is about four times larger than what we see on the Mavic 2 Zoom and indeed the Air. And that's gonna mean a couple of things. Firstly, you're gonna have greater level of dynamic range. It's also gonna have the ability to record 10-bit color depth, which is gonna, again, give you more information for post-color correcting, and you're gonna get more details in the shadow and highlights, so great for HDR aerial photography. Furthermore, you're gonna have huge advantages in terms of low-light performances. Because we have that larger sensor and we have an extended ISO range of up to 12,800 opposed to 3,200 ISO on the air, we're gonna see much better uh, dynamic range and overall low-light like performances, you're gonna see more information in the shadows. Great for indoor photography as well as a nighttime aerial photography. Another advantage of having that larger sensor is you're gonna have uh, more control over your depth of field. So you can get that shallow depth of field look where your subject is perfectly in focus and your background is more out of focus, which is gonna be interesting for some aerial portrait work that uh, people may wanna do with this type of drone. Now moving on, in terms of sensors, we now have left-right sensors in addition to the front, back, and uh, downwards-facing sensors that we found on the original Mavic and indeed the Air. So now we have omnidirectional sensors. It's gonna increase the overall hover stability of the unit as well as make it a tiny bit safer, although I do have to admit that the Air was super stable indoors, super stable outdoors, and it didn't really have any problems in terms of overall flight dynamics and ease of use, but having larger propellers, having a larger overall more powerful platform is going to get you a little bit more stability up in the air. And additionally, the props on the Mavic 2 are very similar to what we found on the Platinum Edition Mavic last year. So they're gonna reduce the overall air turbulence as well as make the drone about three to four dB quieter. Additionally, the range has been effectively doubled. We now have an eight kilometer range opposed to the four kilometer range on the air, as well as we're using OcuSync 2.0 technology for the DJI software monitoring. So now we can monitor our video footage at 1080p 30 FPS at around 120 milliseconds in terms of latency, opposed to the 720p at 30 FPS with around 170 to about 240 milliseconds latency on the air. Air. So it should be a little bit better in terms of uh, monitoring your footage at a higher quality, higher bandwidth, and have less latency, which is also going to be great if you're going to use uh, the DJI VR goggles. Now another advantage is using Active Track 2.0. So uh, using the live uh, subject tracking features that we originally saw on the, the Mavic drones, uh, we can now uh, monitor uh, something and track a subject and uh, the system will uh, detect everything in three-dimensional space opposed to two-dimensional space on the older system 
and it also predicts uh, the trajectory of uh, where your subject is going to be if an obstacle becomes blocked in the way. So it's a lot more uh, reliable and uh, a lot quicker as well. So it's perfect for tracking fast uh, moving objects such as vehicles. The last advantage I want to talk about is the battery life on the Mavic 2 Pro, which ranges uh, technically according to DJI about 31 minutes. Based on my experience, I got anywhere between 25 to about 29 minutes and obviously battery life fluctuate depending upon what you're doing with the drone. Now on the Air it's rated at 21 minutes but I got anywhere between 12 to 16 minutes. Now even though we talked a lot of, about the new drone I still think that the Air has uh, three compelling aspects that makes it very very competitive even compared to the new Mavic lineup. Firstly when it comes to the compact side of things as you can see side by side it is definitely a lot more compact in its folded position compared to the new drones as well as the fact that it weighs half as much and that actually becomes a pretty big deal when you want to get a super compact very handy and convenient uh, piece a little kit with you that you can take anywhere. Not that uh, the Mavic 2 isn't portable but certainly not to the same extent as the Air. That's essentially the key purpose of the Air's design is to be as about as small as a medium to large size smartphone and it still has that big advantage for sure. In addition to that, uh, even though the new Hasselblad camera on the Pro is awesome in terms of low light performance, color range and everything like that, the key fundamental features of the actual camera quality and camera parameters very very similar in both uh, cameras. Basically both drones can do 4K video at 30 FPS, 1080p videos at up to 120 frames per second and the maximum bit rate is the same at about 100 megabits per second and in terms of overall sharpness everything like that uh, both the drones pretty much shoot identical qualities of video especially in well lit uh, day conditions which is going to be let's face it most of the time if you're going to be out there and it's not raining uh, you're going to have some pretty good looking footage on both drones that's not going to be a dramatic difference as you've kind of seen from some of our side by side video comparisons so uh, definitely in terms of video quality I don't uh, think uh, that the uh, Mavic 2 Pro is going to completely destroy what the Air has to offer certainly in most daylight situations. The other thing is the price point. Uh, we're looking at $799 for the Air and uh, the uh, Mavic 2 Pro uh, retails for about $1449 almost uh, double the cost not quite but uh, I don't think it's double the amount of value compared to the air air still has all the great smart tracking features it doesn't have omnidirectional sensors but it has sensors at the back at the front at the bottom just not left and right and that's really not too big of a deal based on my experience it's a little bit noisier yes the live feed has a little bit more latency but it's still good enough for I think most people out there. So I still think that the Air is still one of the best drones out there and now more than ever because it's super competitively priced and even though uh, the Mavic 2 Pro is awesome in a lot of ways, I, if, I, if it was up to me, I'd probably still go for the Air. But of course, that's my opinion. Love to hear your thoughts about the new uh, Mavic series of drones. Uh, we'll probably do a little uh, review uh, and in-depth on the Mavic 2 Pro as well as the Zoom uh, later on if you guys request that. But in the meantime, thanks you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Check out the links in the description if you want more details about the drones. And we'll see you later. Take care.